Okay. okay. Take it away. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, before we start this reaction, uh, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of comments, a whole bunch of new subscribers. Uh, we reached over a thousand views within, I think, five days. Uh, something ridiculous. So uh, thank you guys so much for that. Um, continuing from last video where we did a moon shape pool, uh, which you seem to like, correct? I love that. Yeah, it was a great album. Um, really enjoyed it. And I just want to say uh, thank you again to everybody for the kind words. Um, you know, there's, I realized that there's a lot of music I didn't listen to. And like we were talking, you know, there's, I was looking through the, the comments there at all, all the different albums that I just never even heard of. Mm -hmm. And I feel sort of inadequate, <laughs> you know, being a musician, you know, pretty much my whole life and just sort of listening to top 40 only. Yeah. Um, how much do you know about this album? Um, I think I just know Karma Police and that is it. Have you heard much about this album though? Like growing up, like when you, in 97, when this came out, you know, did you hear anything about it in the music no, scene? No, you know what? And, and I, I'm embarrassed to say it, but I was like, listen, don't stop believing. You know, I was listening <laughs> to top four, I was Journey and all that kind of stuff. So I really feel like this is a, it's opening my eyes to a whole different style of music, yeah. which is fantastic. Now I have the lyric sheets. And I said that was one major component for me was to be able to have the lyrics. And mm -hmm. so to, to read the lyrics and put the two together is like, you know, it's like peanut butter and jam for me, right? Yeah. One quick disclosure before we go in. We're going to try, or you're going to try, not to mention hand jobs as much because we did notice a lot of comments about the hand job uh, comparisons. I don't know how many times <laughs> we're, we're going to bring that up in this album. Bring um, it up? All right. Yeah. <laughs> Not at my age. It's yeah. Like, no. New pills. Track one. Track one. Let me. Um, this is titled. I don't have the titles, but I'll tell you. Okay. Um, it's titled Airbag. I absolutely love his phrasing. Yeah. You don't know where his phrases are going to... No, it's not following a certain... No, it's... ...specific rhythm, predictable rhythm or anything. It's... That's super cool. Yeah, right. <laughs> very, very cool track. Wow. Like I think I said before, or I haven't said, maybe I haven't said it yet, but wow, it really, I want to smile. I'm smiling inside and I'm smiling as I'm grooving because there's just so much texture and so much stuff that's unpredictable. Mm -hmm. And it's, I've lived in this, Top 40, 145, <laughs> GDA, you know, world this music. world for so long. Um, in the song, it, it kind of, you know that part where you, you think at the end when you thought it was over? Yes, yeah. And then you're like, okay, we're good. But then it's stuff starts happening was around. Was that, that where the little break? Where yeah, there's like a break. The, and then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then his vocals come back in and then it picks back up. It, it reminds me of like, you know, like like being in a car crash and you you're back coming back to life. You're oh, that's a born great, again. That's a fantastic point. You're that's what's the, so great about interpretation, right? Like, yeah, you can see it a million you, ways. A million different. I can ways. see it like that, and then you can see it as <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I am not going there, not uh, till later with your mother. <laughs> you. uh, that is that's low. Um, track two is called Paranoid Android. I love that whole phrase. It was yeah. amazing. The way it flows on. It, yeah. The... 
<laughs> it's such a cool <laughs> groove. This bass guy's sick. <laughs> this is fantastic. Seriously fantastic. Wow. Can I, oh man. Oh man, <laughs> fuck me. Jeez, that was like, man, like I was trying to, I don't know what to say here. That, that, I can't imagine physically playing that. Like I would explode with happiness. Yeah. Like just to be, just playing that, like at that level. So there's three, the three, there's, you know, four parts. Yeah. Right? There, there, basically four parts. Yeah. Four parts, right? The, the first part, it was just, and then, then it hit the, then they hit the that groove, the, the, groo the, the, the groove, and then just, it's just it. I love it. That was for me something else. Wow. You know, I'm gonna have to say something here. I, and, uh, in all honesty, I'm a little embarrassed that you haven't been listening to radio. Yes, all these there's. Years. I've had friends who have gone to the shows, and I've never really, you know, they're they're fanatical about it, and they know everything, and um, I'm actually getting a little bit embarrassed now. And it, you know what? And this is, if it's going out there and people are seeing this, uh, I'm the first to admit it, that it's like, I, I missed out. And, and it, the, the list of albums that people have been sending in in the comments and stuff like that, it's like, you know, I don't know how popular they are or, or if they're not popular or not, because mm -hmm. that just wasn't the genre of music I was listening to. And it's, then. it's something that, um, you know, thank you for opening my mind and, you know, track number three. The last track on side A uh, is called Subaterian Homesick Alien. I think I've definitely played this for you once or twice um, because we were talking about it being similar to a Coldplay song. Um, so you'll probably, as soon as you hear it, you'll be like, oh yeah, this is like that Coldplay song. Oh, this okay. is before the Col Coldplay was, you know, had their album out. So Coldplay yeah, they did sort of poached it a bit? A little bit. They took inspiration. Oh, oh, I can hear it. You hear the Coldplay? Oh, I can hear the Coldplay. Yeah. I mean, I hear what yeah, Coldplay yeah. took. Off uh, parachutes. Yeah. Yeah, the mix is so wide. Yeah. It's, it's way out here. Totally, yeah. Well, that's beautiful. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thoughts and opinions? Uh, I, I, I really, really like it. I mean, that's the spaciness in there. And lyrically, it's, man, it's so... Yeah, I was actually going to ask you about this song. Uh, what do you think about the lyrics on this one? Because to me, it, it paints a really interesting picture a uh, really interesting picture and it sort of brings me right back to the beginning of what you said with them being on tour buses and sort of mm -hmm. seeing the world and technology and stuff anyway this is called exit music for a film in brackets um okay. the for a film part is in brackets wow from your sleep. It sounds like he's like right there. That is a beautiful mix. Mm -hmm. His vocals are so good.
Wow, that's that was eggs and music. That is that is heavy, and I got is, uh, uh, lyrically, lyrically, and and uh, do they do they die in this? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I I know it's a very heavy song lyrically. It gave me such a weird chill. Like uh, not that there's chill in the lyrics, but it gave me such a weird, like I can't explain it. It's just sort of like a, I don't know what happened. Yeah, like it's I'm, We're, and uh, also I wanted to ask: Were you, you expecting that that drum break in the? No, <laughs> no, no, not at all. Like no acoustic acoustic guitar is like. They were obviously doing a lot of more acoustic back then, right? Yeah, than and, now, and, yeah. Than now, and um, it sounds it was it was really good, but it left me it left me with a an odd feeling, I don't an know eerie kind of an eerie feeling, like yeah. an unsettling feeling. Exactly, yeah. Right, I don't know what to do now, so I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get out of here because I <laughs> it's this song is called Let Down. I love the jangliness and openness we've talked about before. It's a before. different mix than the last song, right? Yeah. There's that synthesizer sound yeah. again, eh? You know what? To be honest with you, it's probably out of all the tracks so far this is my least favorite and I'll, I'll tell you why it's it's I, I hearing it for the first time and reading it lyrically I mean it's a, it's a good song I loved all everything music, musically that was going on but because now I've been listening to Radiohead <laughs> I'm finding I knew where in this song I knew lyric I knew where the melody was going right mm, yeah. da, 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 da. And um, and now I'm starting to really like not knowing where things where are it's going. going. Yeah. yeah, if it's if it's simp if it's a simple song, then it. Uh... Yeah, if it's a simple song for me, it's now it's sort of like, and I don't want to become you know what I mean. I'm like I, I just, it's, it's got everything's got to be, be weird. It's got to be completely weird, weird timing and weird weird signatures and yeah. weird. But um, no, gr great you know a great song. I love it. Lots of harmonies. I think there was three, three toms at the end there. This song, you've probably heard it before. Oh yeah, but we'll go through it. That bass line is fantastic. I love that. I have to, um, that's the first time I've ever listened to this on headphones. Oh, really? I have heard it. Like as I said before, this is the one track I've heard on the album, um, on the radio. You know, I just heard it, Yeah. It, you know, doing stuff or whatever, cars and stuff like that. Um, the first time I've really, really read the lyrics, read the lyrics, right? And yeah. really read the lyrics and saw what it sort of, I knew Karma Police and that kind of thing, but I never really listened, you know, mm -hmm. to the lyrics. But uh, again, so much crazy little things going on in the, but I really hear um, how. So this was prior to Coldplay's debut album. Yes, because there's so many things that Coldplay yeah. picked up from. <laughs> yeah, for sure. From this, like, and I, I'm a big fan of Parachutes, and I, I love that album. Me and too. Yeah. All the little things in in here, the melodies, the the piano, the guitar, the everything's like yeah. they, they, they must have been big fans. Oh yeah, hundred percent. So we'll go to this next track. It's very short, and it's uh, it's called "Fitter Happier." It's a short song. Happier. I wouldn't More call it a song. Oh, comfortable, not drinking too much, regular exercise at the gym, three days a week, backseat, <laughs> sleeping well, no bad dreams, no paranoia, care for all animals. Never watching spiders done the plug hole. <laughs> Keep in contact with old friends. Enjoy a drink now and then. Any thoughts on, on that interlude? <laughs> well, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to 
to sort of break it down in my head because there's I know I'm missing something highly intellectual that's over, <laughs> that's over my head right now. Uh, now I'm really curious to hear what comes after this because because like I said I feel like I'm I'm missing something like yeah I'm, I just feel like there's like there's uh, I gotta figure out what this next thing is right now. <laughs> okay, we'll go to the next song. Anyway, um, it's called Electroneering. Actually, I'll just start at the end of that Better, one. Happier, more productive. So we can I'm going to readjust. Wow, didn't expect this. <laughs> no. There's that bass again. Yeah. Oh, I really like this track. Wow. I can't help smiling right now. I know. <laughs> Seriously. Wow. That was killer. <laughs> that was wow. Like I could again. That's another track where I could, if I could play that yeah. with a bunch of guys, I would just shoot like a fireboat. <laughs> <laughs> like seriously. Um, did that kind of solve the problem you yes. had with the last the interlude? That's, yeah. that's what I mean. It does go into it. Go, yeah, very, very well. From Soon Karma as... Police to that Fitter Happier and then this. Then this. Those, that, those three. Yeah. The little trilogy of... Uh, yeah. That was killer. Killer headphones. Like, oh. the mix is just like... It, start, it starts off, you don't really know what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Like, with the guitar comes in, it sounds like almost like a Western. There's like a... I thought it was going to be a... Yeah, it sounds a Western, like a, yeah. it sounds like it's going to be some slow Western song. Yeah. <laughs> There's a, I think it sounds like a fence, like a chain fence being shook or yeah. something. Close to the end, there are a couple more tracks. Um, this one is called "Climbing Up the Walls." Everything's a surprise for me. I yeah. love it. Like I don't know. <laughs> you have no idea. What I don't it's know where like. if it's going to be fast, slow. Yeah. <laughs> Are you starting to see why people hold this album so highly? I uh, uh, for sure. Yeah, it's. Is this the is this the one? It's tied. This in Rainbows and Kid A are all kind of the, the pinnacle. Which I don't of, know those. I just yeah. sort of. Listen to that sound there. This song could have went on for me for like 40 minutes. Yeah. I, I could have kept listening to it. It There was not, I didn't, there's nothing I got tired about. I noticed while I was listening to it, I kind of got into this. I mean, you probably, you were reading it, so, mm -hmm. uh, but I was just sitting here and I kind of got into this state of like almost meditation uh, that's, in a way. You know what? That's exactly yeah. what I felt. Because I, I wasn't even... I wasn't having any thoughts. I was just engulfed in the sound of, of you know, so much going on. I got it. You know what? I got to agree with you. I was completely in there. It's a fantastic track. This right. is. I'm. And I'm starting to see a theme now. Yeah. Is I'm, it starting to piece together? It's slowly? starting to piece together. It is starting to come together, and I'm starting to to feel like I miss things <laughs> for twenty something years. <laughs> um. Next track is called uh, "No Surprises." Wow. Bass oh, is, is always beautiful fun. bass to end guitars. Oh, this is beautiful.
Man, these guys are talented. <laughs> Where do we even start with that one? <laughs> I don't know. You know, it, it, we got this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful opening up, like uh, the opening of that song. Like mm. it's it's something else. But, you know, I got some crazy shivers and lyrics right in the middle of here. And I and it's it's as soon as we hit the, you know, a job that slowly kills you, bruises that won't heal. You look so tired and unhappy. I had such a pang feeling about my life. <laughs> yeah. No, it was a sad feeling. Yeah. Like I was. Re it was really resonating with me, right? I think that's why people um, love this album so much, is it yeah. just resonates with the human experience in the modern the modern age. Like I felt like it was literally talking to me, and I'm, it, it, you know, if everything about it was, yeah, you know, I'm not gonna cry here, but it's it's I got it got it, it hit me in that middle section. I'm, yeah, I'm getting older, and I felt this whole thing in my life, and. And uh, it's pretty strong, man. It's, wow. Second last song. Um, this one's called Lucky. Which I'm hoping to get tonight. <laughs> <laughs> With your mother. <laughs> he didn't have to add that part. Last time it was consistently the hand job reference. Yeah. Now it's the, you me banging your banging mother. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> and you know the comments are going to be full with it. He keeps talking about banging his wife in front of his kid. <laughs> well, you're going to hear it. Unless <laughs> you listen to the album again with headphones I'll be, on. I'll be listening to the album all night. Uh, I, I don't, don't want to so, hear that. So, uh, <laughs> so then not implying that you'll do, be doing it all night. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for thinking so highly of me. <laughs> I'll be. I'll have to cover up the noise of you pounding mom all night. <laughs> You're an asshole. L lucky. Okay. I love that wah in there. Yeah, wah, 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 wah. I love it too. It's fantastic. That's lucky. Cool track. I love it musically. You know, one thing I, I am I'm starting to sort of get a feel now for um, Tom's phrasing is that. Um, when he his you know certain words at the end I'm, I'm not expecting them right away now yeah right I'm, i i know that change is going to come a little bit down the road yeah. right it's not going to be you know i feel my luck could change it's it's yeah i'm it's, starting to understand what he does and the magic that he does right the, yeah how he writes his lyrics how he writes and just holds off on things just staggers that vocal note yeah so you think it's I, i'm being the you know the 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 cookie cutter side of guy that I that I you know grew up on that kind of music. Yeah, everything is exactly the way it is, and then he just he holds off on it, which is which is super super cool. This is the final track um, to close out the album. It's called "The Tourist." <laughs> I don't know if Tom gets the kudos for his vocals. I don't think he does uh, from people outside of Radiohead fans. Yeah, it's he's, his voice is incredible. He holds a note so long and so in perfect pitch. Yeah. that little little bell the little ding <laughs> I 
Oh, I love that chord change there. Oh, that's wicked. Wow. You know, I got to say this this is this is probably one of my favorite of everything I've heard so far mm -hmm. of his vocal performances. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you he's holding those long notes for so long. His and falsettos, perfectly. his the harmonies, I mean, he's those notes are just so perfect. Yeah. And he goes to it sounds like a minor chord there. I don't know again lyrically, I don't know what the song means. Like I I from what I've read something to do with him seeing a tourist uh going extremely fast speeding um it kind of it's interesting because it kind of ties together with the the beginning track airbag and, and yes getting in a car crash yeah that was crazy it was great this this was a journey for me this was i'll have to say that this was you know fantastic like fantastic i know i keep reiterating and saying this again over and over again but i feel sort of like a, a a little bit of a moron for not grabbing this you know what i mean at the yeah. time but i wonder why because you're you're a music guy you know you're a musician yourself i'm surprised you didn't hear people talking about it oh this radiohead album this radiohead album and you know naturally just be like i gotta see what everybody's talking about i think i'm not sure because i think it was like a question of you had to go out that but, but then and buy cds do you agree with the uh how this album i mean you, you'll have to give it more listens obviously but just from the first listen do you do you see what people mean when they say it suits this it's grown into the time that we are well you today? know that was the song where i just uh no surprises I, no surprises yeah yeah where you were like it, you connected with it i connected with it like at a at a crazy emotional level I, the lyric as soon as i hit the lyrics and the feeling of the song i was like and at my age and the way sort of the world is going right now mm -hmm. with with covid and everything's at such a crazy high everything's instant you yeah. know uh, you know instant noodles <laughs> yeah. in, instant music it's yeah instant everything instant everything it's it's such a crazy space i can understand where where they came from from you know and that maybe that brings us full circle to this last song as a whole you know mm. what I mean? As a whole, as yeah. an earth, as, as people, like slow, slow down. down. Yeah. Just slow right down. Let's just chill out and shut things off for a while and enjoy each other. That's. I think that's a good note to uh, end off on. Um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed uh, the reaction. I hope you enjoyed. I had a good time. I had a great time. It was, it was eye-opening for me again. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to go because there's a couple or go through a couple more Radiohead albums. But uh, if you guys, like I said earlier, if you want to suggest an album, uh, we're totally open for suggestions. We're going to try to do this weekly basis, I'd weekly say. Weekly basis, Something like yeah. That. I'm, I'm up for it, yeah. Um, and you guys have uh, been super supportive uh, after that first video. And uh, it's only going to get better from here because we've got two microphones. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for the support. Uh, leave a comment for any future reaction that you'd want to see. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Slow down. <laughs>